Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, we have a good old luxury and high-end beauty haul of the items that I've been purchasing recently. So if you wanna see all that good stuff, then just keep watching. Thank you to Karma for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Karma is an app or a Chrome extension that ensures you never miss a price drop or a coupon code. They have recently changed their name from Shop Tagger to Karma. They're always expanding their capabilities and this name change represents the good karma they provide by helping you shop smart. Lately, I've been in the summer clothes mindset and so I've been looking at a lot of summer clothes. One of my favorite places to shop is Abercrombie and I feel like they're always out of my size so I saved a really cute lounge outfit that I really liked through Karma and they just didn't have my size and then when it came back into stock, Karma actually sent me a notification that it was back in stock and I picked it up real quick. <laughs> so Karma is really easy to use and it's completely free. On your computer, you just download the Chrome extension and you can visit any of your favorite stores. And when you see an item that you'd like to save, maybe you're waiting for it to go on sale or it's out of stock and you're waiting for your size to come back in stock, you just click the little button over here and it will save that item for you. And then you will get notifications via email or mobile push when an item you saves goes on sale, has a relevant coupon or comes back in stock. They also on their platform allow you to organize all of the items you've saved in list for me, I have a lot of clothing lists, some makeup lists for you guys for items that I'm waiting to come back into stock for you. You can put them in multiple different wish lists so you can shop more mindfully and intelligently during this time. And lastly, this is my favorite part. I never make an online order without having Karma scan the web for coupon codes and they will apply them at checkout automatically. It's always nice just to double check. This is a special feature if you use Karma on your computer. So the Chrome extension is an absolute must to have this feature. You can also earn cash via PayPal when you shop through select retail partners. You can get Karma's free Chrome extension through my link in the description box. So make sure you click on that and it will direct you right where you need to be. And let me know if you did it through the last sponsored video. Have you been loving it? Like I have. So again, thank you for sponsoring this portion of the video. Let's get into the haul. Let's get into all of the makeup I've been buying on the side. Some of these you might not have seen. I might have pondered some of these. So yeah, we'll start off with some of the more luxury items. I also have some items from Sephora and then a few other items here and there. We're going to start off with Dior. I did a video on a full face of Dior. I couldn't be tamed. I bought some more stuff. So we'll start off with what you've seen. If you missed my full face and new Dior video, then you might not know this but I did pick up one of the quints from their new summer collection it's called the summer dune collection so this is the shade mirage they have another shade but yeah I'm not the biggest fan of this palette all of these are kind of the same color on the eye in the palette provides you with zero depth now that being said the look on the eyes absolutely gorgeous but it's definitely not worth the price so I was a little bit disappointed with this just because Dior recently has had such a great quint formula this is not consistent with that I find that typically with their limited collections that the quality is inconsistent so this one isn't one that I recommend it's very very pretty you know it's a thing where you put it on and you like your makeup look but it definitely does not justify the price I also picked up their forever natural bronze now it's hard to get a hold of the shades one through through four, five through I think it's eight is available quite widely in the US markets, but I had to pick up shade four through Selfridges. So I definitely think shade five would have been too dark for me. So I'm really happy with shade four. Again, you can see my demo in the Dior video that I did. Oh, the packaging though, ugh. It is just stunning. It's kind of the soft leather on top. It's very thin and compact. And the color is phenomenal for a bronzer. I've used this a couple times since the video. I definitely want to use it more. But if you're my skin tone, ordering from Selfridges is worth it because this is such a beautiful product and the packaging is so luxurious. I've been loving this. <laughs> this is one that I have not yet featured on my channel, but I did go back and buy this when it recently came back into stock. So I bought the Summer Dune Luminizers. So when I went to order this, it was out of stock and Dior has my all time favorite highlighters. And I even love their limited edition highlighters. I use them frequently. And I don't reach for limited edition products too often, but I always find myself reaching for the Dior Luminizers, limited edition or not. So I picked the lighter shade, which is pink 
Dune. And it's the same typical Dior packaging. And here's what the highlighter looks like. It is absolutely stunning, you guys, who have like the waves on here. Let me show you the swatch. How pretty is that? I haven't put it on my face yet, so I do still need to use it, but I'm really excited for it, and I'm happy I finally got my hands on this. This is an older purchase, but I don't think I ever featured these on my channel. So a few weeks ago, Nordstrom had this insane sale on these Tom Ford palettes, and I've been eyeing these Tom Ford palettes for a while, but I truly could not justify the price. I did end up getting them for 50% off, and so many of you were upset because you missed out on it, and I'm just saying, I told y'all in my community tab, if you don't have my notifications, on you missed out because 50% off I couldn't resist so these are the shade and illuminate face and eye palettes so I got the two shades that were available here's what the packaging looks like it's just the typical Tom Ford packaging this is beautiful this is the shade moonlit violet I haven't gotten the opportunity to put these on yet, but I am so looking forward to it. Of course, I had to get the purpley one. You also have a highlight and a bronzer, and you have a quad, and I don't expect anything not good from this. I remember watching Mel's review when these came out, and they just look stunning, and I was lusting after them for quite a long time, but I believe it's like $150, something crazy. The price was just more than I could justify, but at 50% off, I snagged these real quick. The other one that was available was rose cashmere so this is a lighter one for lighter skin tones as you can see but it's really beautiful I can see this creating a very pretty soft summer look so we will have to see again I haven't even touched these yet so I'm really excited I know for my hauls normally I like try them on before but I've already filmed videos today so I didn't have the chance to oh, but this is some good stuff I can't wait to play with now you guys have seen this but I did just want to feature I picked up both of the Charlotte Tilbury Instant Look of Love in a palette. I love these. This is the lighter one. This one is my favorite one by far. And I recommend you check out my video on these. I do two full looks. I compare them side by side. The lighter one, Pretty Blushed Beauty, is my favorite. It's definitely going to be in my monthly favorites because it's so good. I also did pick up the deeper one, but I actually ended up giving that one to my mom just because I didn't love it as much. This one is perfect for my skin tone. But again, check out that video. You can see my side-by-side -side comparisons, but I'm in love with these. I think they are so awesome. I'm sure you guys already know I picked this one up. I've already posted my videos. I also just filmed this tutorial using this palette. So of course I picked up the Natasha Denona Zendo palette. If you missed my review and were living under a rock, definitely check out my review and my tutorial video. I did not like this palette that much. That's kind of my little spoiler here. It's definitely not my favorite Natasha palette. The quality is really good, but I for some reason cannot get down with this color story. I find it awkward. I don't love the looks that I create with this. So yeah, just you can check out the video if you want more details, but definitely a disappointing palette for me from Natasha Denona. But I know a lot of you guys do love it and I'm in the minority here. <laughs> The next item I picked up, I ordered this from Selfridges along with the Dior items. So this is also in that new Dior video, even though it's not Dior. But I really wanted to try the Gucci Glow and Care lip color. It seems that these really hydrating, glossy lip colors are in style. And I wanted to try the Gucci formula. And it starts off with the packaging from Gucci. I just... Oh, it's always so luxe. So I picked up the shade Call It A Day, and this is just a beautiful, everyday, kind of mauve lip color. I absolutely loved it in the video that I tried it. It's just so comfy to put on. I know it's not like the perfect match, but oh, it's so thick and hydrating. I really have been enjoying this formula a lot. It's, it's quite expensive. You know, in the grand scheme of things, it's overpriced for sure, but I definitely enjoy having it. I enjoy the experience. So I'm happy that I picked this up. Ah, I have a lot of stuff that I told you guys I wasn't going to get or I didn't mention, but I had to. I placed an order from Sephora and all of this stuff came. I'm debating. I'll probably do a video using this stuff because it's new. This one is not super new, but I want to try the Huda Beauty Sweet Nudes Power Bullet Cream Glow Cream Lipstick. I didn't realize that they came out with these. I had bought one of their new lip liners, but I completely skipped out on the formula of the lipstick. I just didn't 
see it and I kept seeing people using these lipsticks and all of the colors looked beautiful so I had to see what the hype was about. I picked one up myself. This Sephora order came in the mail today so I'm really excited. I haven't even looked at this. So I picked up the shade Honey Bun. Take a look at the packaging. It's plastic. It doesn't feel luxe by any means but I like the way it looks and here's the shade Honey Bun. It's supposed to be like a pink nude. Let's see. Ooh, gorgeous. It's really, really shiny. Ooh, I like that. Okay, I'm really excited to try this formula out. Hopefully I love it because I wasn't gonna pick these up, but I did anyways. Speaking of things that I wasn't gonna pick up, <laughs> I cannot believe I picked this up. I got the ABH Italian Summer Face Palette, and I talked about how boring these were, how I had no desire to pick these up, and I kind of feel the same, but my thought process was I just wanted to do a video of some of the newer Sephora items that have come out. And this is one of them where you guys seemed somewhat interested. A lot of you are very happy that they came out with multiple colors. And it was just the kind of thing where since I was buying some things, I might as well add this one on. Expect to see this in an upcoming video. I picked up the lightest shade, obviously, because of this. Uh, but here's what the packaging looks like. I'm not, I'm not in love with it. It's kind of like a leather casing. I mean, it's cardboard but it looks like leather casing. Let's see, this is made in the USA and it is just a trio and <laughs> it does not look like anything special even in person. I don't know, but I still picked it up. So who's the fool here? Good for travel if you travel. Um, this I can see going in the makeup graveyard. I can't believe I picked this up, but hopefully it's really good quality. You never know, I might end up really liking these tones. I love to be surprised. I would love to be surprised by this. So I'm excited to see my thoughts on these. Fenty Beauty came out with their Bright Fix Eye Brightener. Okay, let's see what color I got because the descriptions online I felt like were weird. I consider myself to be a light medium complexion and the light to light medium color with a neutral undertone was seashell number three and I feel like this is going to be way too light for me. Very very simple packaging made in Italy. I don't know I'm regretting this color purchase. Oh gosh. No, and it's like super peachy. I might need to return this. This looks crazy light. I don't know. I Oh, that did not go over my makeup well. <laughs> Shoot. Hold on. That did not agree with what I had on. Um, do I dare put more over? Oh my gosh. I am not a fan of really brightening Concealers aka concealers that are too light. This color is not a good color and it just messed up my makeup underneath <gasps> Oh no, um, I'm gonna see if I can trade this out for a deeper color I knew I knew it would be too light I did but I, the shade description this sounded like it would be a good shade for me But I knew it was gonna be too light. Oh, I just made my under eyes look really really funky Hold on. We gotta do some damage control. Please fix this. Please fix this. Please fix not perfect, but it will have to do. Um, I'm, I knew better. I did. I'll need to see if they're at my local store and see if I can exchange that for a better color. Okay, anyways, last item that I picked up from Huda Beauty is the Glow Obsessions Mini Face Palette. I was hemming and hawing on whether or not I wanted to pick this up, but not a knowledge enthusiast. I just needed to know. Uh, <laughs> and I don't know how I feel about having Miss Huda's face on here looking like the Statue of Liberty. Let's take a look. Beautiful. It looks really pretty, kind of simple, nondescript. Like I'm not jumping or screaming for joy. Let's swatch. It's kind of a little, mm, not smooth enough for me, the way that I like my highlights. Let me show you though. It could go very well on the face though, so you never know. But upon swatch, not incredibly impressed. Doesn't seem to be anything super special, but you never know until you apply it. Should I just try to? Let's just try to, why not? Hmm, we'll use this peachy one right here. I mean, I already have highlighter on, but normally I like my highlighters to feel a little bit smoother in the pan. It's a highlight, it seems okay. We'll see, I'll have an upcoming video with this new stuff from Sephora. Under eyes, I just filmed a review today. That's what's under my eyes. I picked up all four pieces from the Prep and Set collection from Jaclyn Cosmetics. So we have the Hydrating Under Eye Primer. I picked up the Brightening and Setting Palette in the shade Light Medium. 
And I mean, you'll have to see my review on this. I'm not blown away by this palette really, uh, though it did kind of fix what, what I messed up. I will say that, but it also got messed up because this is what I was wearing. I picked up the Light Banana Brightening Face Powder. This one I'm really impressed by. That's, I don't know if their review is up already, but I was really <laughs> impressed by this. I think this is a beautiful powder. Then of course I got the translucent powder which this one's not going to be for everybody but this is also really good this actually was probably one of my favorite things from this collection but it's like very preferential like i don't think a lot of people are gonna like this but i like it so i picked that up moving through that one quickly because i already have a video up this is exciting right here okay i've waited months for this palette from Shroud Cosmetics and Butte Bean, it's Betty Jean here on YouTube, and she they collaborated on the most beautiful, inspiring palette. Now, the launch, I'm guessing, went much better than expected, and so this palette, I think, took like six months to get to me, which is a bit ridiculous for a palette, but the brand themselves, were giving consistent feedback and, and updates about what was going on and all of that really small business I got this really huge order that they weren't ready for but anyways you know you kind of forget about it and it's fine but look how pretty this palette is this is a color story the placements are so beautiful the choices perfection it's cohesive while still being different I just love the color story of this palette and I'm thinking I'm thinking maybe I'll do a look with it by the time there's a restock if you want to get your hands on it because I can imagine this mistake of six months for delivery won't happen again congratulations to Betty Jean I've already DM'd her. This is an amazing color story. I would have not have thought to put these colors together, but they just work so well. I haven't tried it yet. I haven't even swatched it because it just looks so pretty to look at, but I'm really excited to dig into this. Speaking of collaborations, I picked this up a while ago. I did pick up the Samantha March and Ofra collab as well. I got the PR box because it's just so cute. I can't Okay, mine is like a mess because I've dug into it already. And I know you guys have probably seen all of these already, so I'm just briefly going to go over it. Here's the palette. Again, I haven't used it yet, but it's hard to create a neutral purple palette, and I think Sam did a really nice job with it. So I'm excited to play with this. You know I had to pick it up. It's a purple palette. Your girl loves purple palettes. And then I also got the Lip Trio set. I do have Millie Gloss, so I'll probably give this away, but I don't have the other two glosses. So, I mean, I know I'm super late on this, but congratulations, Samantha. The PR box is what gets me. It's so cute. Moving on, I have a couple Couple PR items that are high end that I thought I would show you because I thought you would be interested. So I got a PR package from Kaja and I got all three of their Play Bento Blendable Sculpting Trios. I love their Bento stuff and I didn't pick this up because it looked like something that I didn't need but I'm so happy I got it sent to me in PR. And this is the darker one. I don't want to open it. Give them to my friends who have deeper skin tone. So that's where this one's going. But I'll show you the other one. I believe there's another one but it's in my pile of makeup right now. So I'll just show you the one that I have for myself. So this is number one buttercup and if you don't know how these work there's three layers to them. So the first one we have a blush, the next layer is a highlight, and then the last layer is a cream bronzer. I'm really excited to play with these. I don't think I'll put it in my trying new Sephora makeup because I already have the ABH trio, but I will definitely be playing with this and updating you guys. And there's another color, like I said, I don't know where it's at, but I'm excited to play with these. They also launched this adorable sponge that's a heart shape. Totally unnecessary. I haven't tried it yet, but it feels really good. So thumbs up to that. Thank you, Kaja. Last item that I have is from, I can't believe I'm going to say this, Nude Sticks. So they sent over one, their new summer collection and let me show you. It came in this cute bag. Okay. I haven't really looked at the items that hard yet. So this is their Heaven and Earth set is what it's called. We have a lot of formulas to try in here. So one of the things that I was most excited about, we have this Nudies Bloom in Bohemian Rose and I didn't have this yet and I love the cream blushes. These Nudies Blooms are so pretty. Let me swatch this for you. It's gonna be this color down here. Looks gorgeous. Among other things, I have two plush paints. 
I've never tried these before. I don't even know what these are. They're just monochromatic, multitasking face colors. So I guess you can use them on the eyes, lips, and the cheeks. Just to be safe, I'm not gonna open these. I don't wanna open things and then never use them. So I'm gonna hold on to that. And then we also have some of their eye sticks. So there are three different colors. Again, just in case, I'm not gonna open these, but this looks like a really fun set. I can see like the earthy elements in here. Looks gorgeous. So thank you, Nude Sticks, for sending that my way. But yeah, that's all the new luxury and high-end makeup that has recently entered my collection. If I haven't played with them yet, I definitely will. So keep your eyes peeled for some new videos as well as check out the videos I've already done with these products. Blessed to have all of this beautiful makeup sitting in front of me. So thank you guys so much for watching this haul. I hope you enjoyed it. And again, thank you so much to Karma for working with me on today's video. If you guys aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.